Hey guys, how's it going? It's a Hide here, and we're back with a brand new episode of 64. And in the last episode, we started mining these green hell hell gems here. And we're getting all that set up. Now, I need to make sure all my stuff is filled up. Everything is basically fully automated here. I don't have to do really anything, which is great. But now, what I need to start doing, as I see this, excavates a lot of resources fast and places them farther around itself. So I'm assuming it's kind of just like an upgraded version of one of these, and I'm hoping it does like two squares around the base, like so. We'll have to figure it out though, won't we? So let's see, should I build one of these right now? Or should I wait? Can I zoom out in this game? I don't think so. I don't think so. Now, one of you guys was telling me that I should still be trying to find the rock. And I don't know how to find it, but apparently it's up at the top somewhere. And, oh, it's going to help us find our way home. Now, with this, I, I'm still going up, right? I think I'm still going up. I can't tell. It's all just white everywhere. Uh Oh, it gives you a little way marker to get home too. Okay. So it said I was supposed to go north to get to the rock, and I don't know how far north or if I'm ever even going to find it. I'm assuming that arrow means that's the way to get home. I don't know. I don't want to spend all day trying to figure out where this rock is. It said north. Like do I just Keep going. I can't tell if I'm still moving or not. What's the cheapest thing I can build? One of these? Oh, I'm still going. I'm I'm still going. So, I mean, that... We're, oh, here we go. Now we can tell if we're moving. How far north do I have to go? Is there, like, an edge to this map? I don't know. I don't know. I've been going up for a long time. I don't know. It doesn't seem like there's an edge, which is kind of a problem. Because now, how do I get home? Is there like a way to go faster? Or do I just have to spend that entire amount of time going back? Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. What if I like... What if I like quit? Quit? Start over? Load? Oh, we can load. Uh... None of those look like they're the right time. So I probably don't want to do that. I might lose some progress. <laughs> what have I done? Oh, I hear it. Oh, I see it. Okay, we made it home. Let's get all this stuff back up and running here. Um, What am I out of? All sorts of stuff, probably. This thing is not working anymore. Uh, that thing's not working anymore. Actually, none of these are working anymore. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, so we made it all the way back here. The the arrow kind of goes away after a while, and I'm wondering if once we see that arrow, I'm just going to go up for a little bit. I don't remember how far away we have to get to see the arrow, but at some point, this little dot turns... <gasps> What? We can't extract here? Can't extract here? What if I put one of these mining doohickeys beside it? Will it mine it for me? I don't think so. What is this thing? Okay, well, I mean, we found it. It is actually just straight north. So if you're looking for it, that's how you do it. I don't think we're going to need to keep that there. Maybe I should build a new area up here. Maybe we do we just build next to the rock and see how things go? I don't know. Like a friendly little neighbor? Let's see. We want... Excavates a lot of resources. We want this thing. 
And I don't know how much resources it's going to excavate, but let's keep it a little ways away. I can't. It won't let me build up here. Oh, hold up. It's probably because I need to build one of these. And then we're going to upgrade it. Okay, let's put that down. And then we'll put this down. Okay. And let's see. Oh my gosh, it is two cubes. What's this? Why is there an orange in there already? It looks like two full cubes, which is good. Okay. Okay. We can work with this. So the first row around this thing, the first row around this thing can be used for upgrades, and then the second one around can be used for where we're going to get the, the materials from, and then the third one on the outside can be for... Miners, I think that seems not bad. We're going to want. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong one. That's why we're going to want some of these to be the green hell gem machines inside here because they're going to be able to touch the most amount of tiles. Like, for example, this one is going to touch three. That one's going to touch three. Actually, that's not even that great, is it? Mmm, that's not that great. Maybe it's something silly where we put... Yeah, maybe it's something silly where we do this. Those will be the hell gems. And then this can be the speed ups. The regular speed ups. Uh, and then we put the miners around the outside still. Maybe we get rid of the corners. I don't know. I, I'm i not totally sold on any of this. You can change my mind. But for now, I think we're going to start like this. Place the next to cube to break it twice as fast. Um, And then the hell gem destabilizer. We're going to need that at some point. So we'll put these things in here for now. Okay. And then we're going to put the industrial destabilizers in here. Let's... Get all these things juiced up. And then what do I do? What do I do? We're going to want a whole pile of these things. And they're going to be pricey at this point. So maybe we'll just stick one on each side. If I can, I can't afford it right now. So that's as good as it's going to get. <laughs> For now. Now there's this other thing here. Um, something about a silo or something. Disassembling tower. A recycling tower allows machine disassembly, which returns all the resources. Okay, we want that. Oh, I just realized something. I don't have the machine that is going to auto-populate more tiles. So we're going to need that. I also want to save up for this, because once we have this... I'll be able to destroy our whole previous base and not lose any resources. Yeah, I think that is good. I think we want to do that. Okay, but more importantly, right now, I think I need to get rid of this. And we got to put one of those pumps on here. Auxiliary pump. Put that guy down. Uh-oh. What? Why didn't it want to let me build? Uh, reverse valve. There we go. Reverse valve. Auxiliary pump. Make sure it's got power. There we go. So that's going to continue to work. It's going to be slow. But it should work. At least for now. And this thing is way too slow. So I wonder if I should be putting fans. Like put some fans around this thing to speed it up a little bit. I don't think we necessarily need these corners right now for much. So I can... No, no, no. Get the heck out of there. No, quit it! <laughs> okay, well, it's not going to work right now. We're going to have to just wait. But that seems fine. That's going to work. This side here... I mean... Eh, it's kind of whatever. We don't have any speed upgrades on that side for the breakers, so I think we're just going to end up leaving that side to the very end. Now, what I was trying to say before I got interrupted by my own brain is there's these uh what the heck are they underground silo automatically refill nearby machines 
16 times. Now, when I read that, it makes me think that if I put two of these things side by side, that they'll just fill each other forever. But I don't know, and they're very expensive, so we're going to have to wait and see what happens. But let's... Oh, I got to make sure... Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to try not to lose this place. Anyway, if I go straight down from here, we should be able to find our main base. And then I can make sure that it is running full power. There we go. Okay, let's get this thing going. What does this do again? I already forget what some of these things do. Slowly reacts quantite with charonite to produce elmarine. Okay, we need more yellow, so let's do that. This one is reclaims quantite from liquefied charonite. Qua qua quantite? It gets purple from liquefied charonite. Okay, it gets purple from black. So let's go ahead and do that. And then this big tower over here burns the red stuff to produce the black stuff. All right, let's do that too. That sounds good. Okay. So this makes black, this makes purple, and this makes yellow, I think. And we'll just make sure that all of this stuff is operating. This whole thing over here is not working because it ran out of juice. Okay, that looks better. Let's get a whole bunch of more resources here and see what else we can do. Oh yeah, look at it go now. Okay, now we're talking. The next thing I wanna buy is the recycling tower because that is going to allow us to break all this for free, essentially. And that I cannot wait to do. All right, we finally got enough stuff here. I can make this new disassembling tower. And now I should be able to just destroy everything. Get all my money back, I hope. I hope, I hope. Um, let's get rid of everything. Let's just get rid of all of it. All of everything. Can I not? There we go. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, we want to get rid of that, 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 get rid of that. Can I not get rid of that? There we go. Get rid of all of this. Get rid of that. Can I get rid of this thing too? Oh, there we go. Okay, now I just got to get rid of these little piles of bricks here real quick. And I don't know what's going to happen when I get rid of this thing. If I'm going to get all of the money back or just some of it, because it depends if it's destroyed before I get the things back or it's destroyed after. Hopefully I get all the stuff back. But here we go. Um, how much did this thing cost? It was like 130,000 black, right? Maybe we can double check. Uh, where was this thing? Maybe I can't see it again because it's built. We can only have one. I don't think I can see it again. I don't know. I don't see it in here. Anyway, I think it was like 60 green. Two, it was 2,000 yellow for sure. So if I don't end up with 9,000 after this, we made a huge mistake. Oh, we made a huge mistake. All right. Well, anyway, we know that going forward. If you want to move, you do not want to break your disassembling tower. There's a huge problem. But uh, now that we've done it, I guess it doesn't matter. Here's our new base. This is where we're going to be moving. And I may as well get started here. What? Why is this? Oh, I'm out of, uh, I'm out of fuel. Okay, so that is going to start doing that for us. I can start building a whole pile more of these guys. And I don't know exactly where I want them. I think that is like the best. And maybe in the corners I can even put another one. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I I know for sure we're going to want them right here. Okay. There we go. That's looking good. And then 
I can probably upgrade this pump station and get rid of some fans, I'm thinking. So we put that in there. We got to give it some juice so that it'll go. Now I'm anticipating I likely don't need these fans anymore, so I could probably get some more of these speed breakers. Is there a better destabilizer? I don't think there is. Okay, man, these things are coming up like instantly after they get broken. So let's get rid of a few of these fans. I don't think we're going to need them anymore. Oh yeah, definitely not a problem. Now, the question is, why can't I do something else to make this go a little bit faster? I guess I could put one of these in the corner here. Or do I put it in the corner there? I think I put it inside the corner because if I put it there, this one is able to get mined. So I think I'm going to stick it in there once one of... Oh, God, I'm never going to be able to break these. There we go. Oh, oh no. I'm going to have to wait for... <laughs> I'm gonna have to wait for this thing to run out of power. I don't think there's any way I can turn it off. And I don't really want to break it again. Although, I guess once I build the recycling depot again, it won't be so bad. Where do I want to put this? Up over yonder? Recycling... Is this the one? All the resources. Okay, so we build that. Now I should be able to get rid of this temporarily. Okay, that's going to allow me to get rid of all these corners. And then I think what I can do once I get rid of the corners is put in some more of these speed breakers. Not that. Although... Mm, eh, that can actually reach a whole lot. That's maybe not that bad of an idea, but I think we want to go with the um, with the speeder uppers instead. We'll put this here. We'll put this here. We'll put this here. We'll put this here. Some of these are going to get turned into... Actually, I think these corner ones are going to be the ones that get turned into the hell gem. Because between all those corners, they should be able to reach every single tile. So that seems great. But for now, because I don't have to worry about that just yet i'm gonna leave it alone and we'll deal with that later when we actually have to so let's see here pump station reverse valve pump station pump pump oh auxiliary pump pump station all right juice it up make sure all of these things are juiced make sure this one's juiced and those guys should just get going. They should just start ripping. I kind of want to stick another one of these in the corner here. Although it seems like we're mining pretty much as fast as we can already. So maybe it's not really that big of a deal. Let's put these on this side though. Uh... Here, here, and here. Make sure they've got power. And there we go. We should be just printing ourselves some monies. We've already hit the hell gems on this part. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Okay. Um, hmm. That is not what I was expecting already. Should I replace one of these with a fan? I feel like I kind of need a fan. Although, I just really want to mine faster, so maybe we'll just... Just do that instead. If I put them on the corners here, they can still reach two. And you know what? Instead of doing that right now, let's build all of the machines that we need. So this is the one that makes the black stuff, right? Burns beta piling to produce charnite. Yes. I want to put these in order so that I can kind of keep track of what I'm making. So we'll go like that. It's going to make black. 
And then I guess we could make a row of them at some point. We'll, we'll do two. So that makes us black. Yellow comes from these guys, right? Slowly reacts quantite with charnite to produce elmarine. Okay, that's going to be yellow. The purple comes from here. Reclaims quantite. Yes. So that's going to be the purple. And then the red we're already making. So that should be good. Yeah, I think that's good. Now this is going to make us yellow. We need some more yellow so that we can start building some more stuff. And... What else do we have to unlock here? Indicates machines ready for filling. I'm not sure what that means. But we can take a look. Hell gem injector. Swaps a random resource from an adjacent cube with a hell gem if there is none. Has 32 charges if provided with 32 hell gems. Okay. Great. I wonder what the radius is of this thing. I'm hoping... It's kind of close. Man, $32,000 though. Holy, that's pricey. I also think I've put this one in the wrong location. Maybe I didn't. Maybe it's fine. It's kind of hard to tell. No, it's definitely in the wrong spot. Or this one up here is in the wrong spot. Let's get rid of that guy. And put this guy here. There we go. That's better. I guess we also have to fuel it up. And that is going to just work for now, which is good. We're going to need to start using up some more of these red crystals. Oh, we don't have any yellow ones right now. All right, let's get some more of this stuff going. We need more yellows. We need a pile more yellows. Let's just go to town. Honestly, I don't even think we need to worry about those um, hell destabilizer things because this thing's basically keeping up with the full miner without even having to worry about it. So maybe we just don't bother with them. It might become more of an issue as more and more of them get the hell gems. But for now, this seems to be working. And I can also add more of these entropy resonators once we have enough money. So that's not so bad. These things are all fired up right now. They're ready to go. I really need to get... Well, actually, I don't think I know if I need to get it, but there's those streamers that gets rid of these, like, big squares and turns them into strips, which is really nice. Um, but that is going to cost 500 yellow, which we don't have right now. We almost have everything else, though. There we go. A whole bunch of yellow coming in. And now we're just waiting on... What are we waiting on? 32,000 red. And almost enough black, but we're going to need to make a little bit more. So let's go ahead and do that. And that should be good for now. All right, guys, I can't handle it. It's too slow. It's too slow. I can't handle it. We need to do it. We need to upgrade hell gem, not injector. Uh, hell gem destabilizer. This is going to be super pricey. But if we put one in the corner there, it should just rip through those hell gems. We'll put, we'll do opposite corners for now. And then we'll leave everything else the way it is. So let's get those guys all powered up. And that should really speed things up. At least we've got most of the tiles covered. Actually, do we have all of them except for these two corners right now i think so right this one can reach all of them yeah i think this corner one can reach all of them except for this top corner and this bottom corner oh it also can't reach this one right here okay so there's like six that we're not reaching but that seems not bad six is not bad i can deal with six now, are we able to get that thingy jiggy thingy majiggy? Uh, no, we still need more red. Okay, well, we're waiting for the red. What do I do with this thing? Hang on, one second. Oh! I just got an achievement for clicking the rock 64 times. 
<laughs> okay, well, maybe that's all it was for. Maybe I moved all the way up here for nothing. I don't know. Or maybe there'll be an update at some point and this rock will be useful for something. I don't know. Anyway, I've got some mining to do or some AFK to do. This thing is just going to have to do its thing. I'm wondering in the next one, what do we start playing around with? And I don't know if we need the hell gem injector. That just doesn't seem really worth it to me. The silo seems pretty good. I think we're going to want to get into those. Maybe. Um, oh, they don't have a very good range, though, do they? Although if I put, put them in spots like this... Because these tiles, if they have held gems, held gems in them, they are not going to get mined anyway. So if I put them in spots like that... Jeez, man, I don't know. I mean, we can play around with it. If I put one here and one here, I think they'll be able to feed each other. And they'll also be able to power like this, 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 and this. Which really isn't that great. It's only doing four things. Um. Hmm. It kind of just is what it is, isn't it? I don't see an easy way to get something that's going to feed the inside and feed the outside. Although, if, I mean, if I put one in the middle here, it's going to reach all six of these things, which is not bad. But the problem is, is it's not going to feed itself. I think I'm going to need... I mean, I guess I could do that. I could put one in the middle there and just feed that thing by hand every once in a while. I don't know. Try me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. I'm not opposed to like putting one here and here. Although this one is very useless. This one here feeds the whole side. And then this one here would feed that one. <laughs> and then it would be truly automated. I wouldn't have to do anything. And if I put it here actually first. Actually, I think this is the play. We put one on this side first. Because that's going to keep this thing running forever. And then I just have to... Oh boy, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. I think we're going to wrap up this episode right there after I get this guy set up. Boop. There we go. All right, you love to see it, guys. I hope you're liking the series so far. If you are, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And I will see you next time.